Hello everyone, this is Siddiqur Rahman and welcome to the second lecture of the seventh week. So let's start with the learning objective of this lecture. By the end of this lecture, you guys will be able to know about latch. And in the next slide, you guys will get an idea about the name of topics of this lecture. So let's start with the outline of this lecture. This slide represents the overall scenario or you can say the overall outline of this lecture and you can say another way from this slide or uh, this slide represents the name of the topics which are gonna covered by this lecture. You guys will learn some of the some of the important topics by this lecture, such as general overview of this lecture. After that, you will get an idea about latch. Well, after that, you get an idea or basic idea about SR latch, and we are or we sorry, I repeat it again. We will design. SR latch using NAND gate. After that, we will design SR latch using NOR gate. And after that, you may or you will get an idea about D latch, JK latch, and T latch, and so on. So let's start with the general overview of this lecture. In digital electronics, a latch is one kind of uh, logical sorry i repeat it again in digital electronics a latch is one kind of a logic circuit and it is also known as a bistable multi vibrator because it has two stable states namely active high as well as active low it works like a storage device by holding the idea sorry i repeat it again by holding the data through a feedback lane it stores one bit of data as long as the apparatus is activated once enabled which means activated is declared then instantly latch can change the stored data it constantly trials the inputs once enabled signal is activated the working of this type of circuits can be done in two states two states sorry i repeat it again two states based on the enable signal being high or else low when the latch circuit is the in an active high state then both the inputs are low similarly when the latch circuit is then an active low state then both the inputs are high now time has come to learn about the general overview of latch so let's start a latch is a simple circuit that responds by switching its output between two states on the application of certain inputs a digital latch is the building block of sequential circuits it is made using NOR and NAND logic gates. Latches have a feedback system. This means that the output of the latch is given back to its input. This indicates that the outputs of a latch depends on current as well as previous inputs. A latch has two inputs and to outputs the outputs are complementary to each other well a latch has two stable state outputs this means that there are two cases of inputs where the output of a latch is stable this is why it is also known as a bistable multi vibrator the latch keeps shifting between these two states whenever there is a change in the input signal the two stable states are known as set and reset states well 
from this slide we may learn the basics or basic idea about SR latch or the design process of SR latch. So let's start. SR latch is also called as set reset latch, which means H S stands for set and R stands for reset, which is equivalent to SR latch is equals to set reset latch. Well, this latch affects the outputs as long as the enable E is maintained at 1, which means E should be activated or high. The circuit diagram of SR latch is shown in the following figure. So figure 1 represents the circuit diagram or you can say the logic circuit diagram of SR latch. Well, uh, in, in this diagram, you may find three sections actually. Uh, first is left section, after that you may find middle section and after that you may find uh, right section. In the left section you may find two inputs. One is R and another one is S or you can say in this way one is S and another one is another input is R. And a special type of input in the left section which is symbolized by enable and which is also always activated by activated high or you can say which has a value of always one and in the middle section if uh, or you can say if you look at the figure or middle section of this diagram uh, you may find there are four gates two two inputs in and gate and two nor gate well, a two two input nor gate. Well, and uh, the output of each AND gates, which which will be used as an input of the nor gates individually. And in the right section, you may find two outputs. Uh, one is symbolized by uh, QT, and another one is the complement of the QT which is QT bar or not QT. Well, let's move into the next slide. Second step of SR latch or designing of SR latch or you can say this circuit has two inputs we have already seen from the previous slide which is a symbol which is one is S and one is R and two outputs. Uh, one is QT and the complement of QT. Well, the upper NOR gate, which is first NOR gate, has two inputs. One is R and another one is complement of the present state of QT and produces next state QT plus one. Well, when the enable is E or when the enable is activated well similarly the lower nor gate which is known also which is also known as second nor gate has also two inputs one is s and the present state of qt and the and produces complement of the uh, qt plus one well uh, when enable e or when 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 enable is activated or when when the value of enable is one well we know that a uh, two input nor gate produces an output which is the complement of another input when the one of the input is zero well similarly it produces zero output when one of the input is one if for your understanding or for you for you guys uh, i have attached the tooth table of nor gate which which has two input uh, one is a and another one is b and in the right section of the tooth table you may find the boolean expression of the output of two input nor gate which is q is equals to a or b bar well uh, if we assign the two individual binary numbers for two inputs of this particular NOR gate, then uh, binary numbers such as two in, 
as, as we have said uh, two individual binary numbers uh, we would like to set for two inputs which is 0 or 1 and if we combine these two number then we get uh, four combination out of two so uh, what are the combination now a question may arise in your mind uh, who, uh, the combination uh, of two input two assigned number are such as 00, 0 01 10 0, and 11 1. and in the right side when the two uh, and in the right side you may find the output of the nor get and when the value of inputs are both when the when both the input when the value when the <coughs> sorry i repeat it again when the both inputs value are zero in that case you may find only one and rest of the cases you may find zero so let's move into the next slide well if r is equals to one then next state qt plus one will be equals to zero irrespective to, irrespective to present value qt values well if s is equals to one in that case the next state qt1 will be equal to one irrespective to present state qt values at any time only of those two inputs should be one if both inputs are one and then the next state qt plus one value is undefined well finally the following table shows the state transition table of the sr latch well what we had got in the state transition table of sr latch so let's start uh, as we have already known that uh, sr latch has has two inputs one is s one is symbolized by s and another one is symbolized by r and if we assign two binary number for these two inputs then we may find four combination of these two number which is or which are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 well uh, well when the value when the values of two inputs are 0 0 in that case we are getting or we will get in the next state only qt well and when the value when one of the value is zero which is s is equals to zero and another in when the and the and the value of another input which is r is equals to one in that case we get or we will get in the next state is zero and when the value of the values of one of the input is one which is s is equals to one and the and the other input and the values of other input is 0 which is r is equals to 0 in that case we get in the next state is 1 well and in the final sec final combination which is uh, when both the inputs are 1 and 1 in that case we did not recognize the next state okay that's why you can say this state can be indeterminate state therefore sn latch, latch performs three types of function such as hold set and reset based on the input condition of this state transition table so let's move into the next slide now time has come uh, to learn SR latch using NAN only NAN gate. Well, figure two represent the logic circuit diagram of SR latch, which is only constructed by NAN gate. And if you look at this figure, then you may find there are three section of this figure. One is left section, another one is middle section, and another one is, or, or you can say the last one is right section. In the left section, you may find there are two inputs. One is symbolized by capital letter English alphabet and as well as capital letter S, and another one is English alphabet R as well as capital letter. And in the middle section, you may find there are two NAND gate 
one is uh, upper NAND gate and another one is lower NAND gate and after NAND gate you may find uh, in uh, there are two outputs one is uh, symbolized uh, QN which is uh, named as present state and in the lower portion of middle section and you can say the right lower portion of the middle section you may find there are another uh, output which is the complement of the present state which is uh, which means uh, bar uh, uh, sorry I repeat again not qn or qn bar well and in the right section and or, or you can say in the most right section you may find there are two things one is next stage of the present state which is symbolized by qn plus one and uh, the lower portion of the right section you may find the complement of the next state which is symbolized by qn plus one bar or not qn plus one so let's move into the next slide well uh, in this uh, from this slide we may learn the declaration of inputs and outputs of S sr latch which is constructed by nand -Git. so let's start this circuit has two inputs we have already known from the previous slide one is s and another one is r and one input in that case but uh, this is not true uh, the input should be actually two one is q and the uh, qn and uh, the qn bar well and qn uh, qn uh, qn and not qn are the symbol for the present state and the complement of the present state as we have already mentioned and seen from the previous slide well the upper nand gate which is uh, which is first nand gate has two inputs one is s and the complement of present state which is qn bar and produces next state qn plus one remember these things Similarly, the lower NAND gate, which means second NAND gate, has two inputs as well, uh, such as one is R and uh, present state of QN, which is symbolized by QN and produces the complement of next state, which means not QN plus one. Well, third step, we consider uh, four cases actually. Uh, for the two inputs as we have already uh, mentioned uh, when we are studied or we are explained the SR latch that SR latch has two inputs one is S and another one is R and we have assigned two individual binary numbers for these two inputs and we get four combination of these two binary numbers such as 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so for case 1 represents when uh, s is equals to 0 and r is equals to 0 then we can uh, then uh, in that case what we find in the next state as well as in the complement uh, and what we'll find the complement of the next state so let's start if we uh, place s is equals to 0 and r is equals to 0 then we may find in the next state uh, is 0 and not qn and whole bar why we found uh, this because uh, the output of NAND gate should be a and b whole bar if the input of that NAND gate is sorry if the inputs of that NAND gates are a and b okay and if we complement if we see, if we look at the complement of the next state we may find since uh, the lower NAND gate has two input uh, also one is r which have which has a value of zero and another input is the present state which is symbolized by qn that's why we may find zero and qn bar and if uh, if something is multiplied by zero then we get as uh, as a result of zero that's why we write in here zero bar and according to boolean algebra 
we get 0 bar is equals to 1 and in the right side you may find there are there is a writing which is since the boolean function of the boolean expression of the output of NAND gate is a and b bar for your understanding i have written this in this slide uh, so let's move into the next class next cla next class not sorry i repeat again so move so let's move into the next slide or you can say next case which is s is equals to zero and r is equals to one well uh, case two represents uh, one of the input is zero and another uh, another input will be one which is s is equals to zero and r one is equals to r is equals to one uh, in that case we may find uh, if we if we look at the first NAND gate, then we get we get uh, one uh, the input of uh, this NAND gate is zero. One of the input and another input will be uh, not Q N, which is uh, that's why uh, if you uh, look at the next state of the uh, of the upper NAND gate. Uh, upper upper right section or uh, upper right you may find uh, zero and not q n and whole bar then you get uh, zero bar and which will uh, which we which is equals to one and if you look at the lower nand gate then you may find uh, which has two input one is r is one is r and another one is q n uh, the value of r is equals to one as uh, as this uh, uh, because this is the second case that's why and if you if you guys look at the uh, uh, complement of the next state then uh, you, uh, you guys will find uh, one and q n uh, whole bar this give this gives us q n bar and q n bar this represents q n bar well and uh, one question in your mind uh, q n or you can say uh, q n plus one uh, if you look at the uh, uh, next state the value of the, the value of no, uh, the value of the next state we get just one so if we complement if we complement uh, this uh, next state that we get zero but we find q to the power uh, qn uh, to, uh, bar and uh, which is equivalent to zero so let's move to the next case Case 3 represents when S is equals to 1 and R is equals to 0. Uh, if you look at the uh, first NAND gate, we may find there are two input. One is S and another one is Q N bar. The value of S is equals to 1. And if we look at the next state, uh, then you will find 1 and not Q N and hold to the uh, whole bar. And uh, not qn into 1 which which gives us qn bar and again this quantity or this element has one bar and according to boolean algebra if an element has two bar then it cancel out each other then we uh, we then, then we get only qn well and if you look at the lower NAND gate which is a second NAND gate then you may find two input as well also uh, one is R and another one is QN the value of R is 0 and if you look at the complement of next state then you may find 0 and QN whole bar and something is multiplied by 0 uh, which is which gives us actually zero that's why we have written zero bar and according to boolean algebra uh, zero bar means one so let's move into the next state which is s is equals to one and r is equals to well <coughs> uh, this slide represents the last combination of sr latch using nand gate which is s is equals to 1 and r is equals to 1 
uh, if you look at the first NAND gate then you may find two inputs one is S and another one is not QN and the value of S is equals to 1 and if you look at the next state of uh, next step then you, you may find 1 and not QN then whole bar and uh, since not qn is multiplied by 1 then we may find not qn then bar uh, and according to the boolean algebra uh, an element has two bar then it cancelled each other then we may find only qn and if, if, if you look at the lower NAND gate or second NAND gate then you may find there there are also two inputs one is r and another one is comp uh, another one is present state which is qn and if you look at the complement complement of next state then you may find one and qn whole bar according to the uh, output according to the boolean expression of uh, of the output of nand gate well and qn is since qn is uh, multiplied by one then we get only qn bar and if you look at the next state we may uh, we found qn and if we complement this state then we may find qn bar so which is perfect and now uh, we need to move into the next slide well uh, from our examination or you can say observation from the uh, last four slides which has a uh, four cases uh, such as when two inputs with both the inputs are zero or both the inputs are one or one input is zero and another one is one or you can say vice versa which means one input is one and another one is zero in that case we may find four condition state and this slide represents the truth table or state transition table of SR latch using NAND gate. When the inputs are, when both the inputs are 0, 0, in that case, in that case, we can mm, call the output or the, uh, the next state should be called indeterminate. Well, when one of the input is zero, sorry, I did it again. One of the inputs is zero and the other one is one. In that case, we can call this is the set state. And when one of the inputs is one and another one is zero, which is named or which is called reset state. And when the two inputs is one, one in that case, there is no change actually and in the tooth table or uh, straight transition table you may find there is a uh, short form which is p dot s dot which is stands for p stands for present and s stands for state so let's move into the next slide so sorry i repeat it again that's all for sr latch using nand gate and we need to move uh, into the next slide to learn SL labs using NOR gate. Well, this slide represents the SR labs latch using NOR gate. Well, uh, figure 3 represents the logic circuit diagram of SR latch using NOR gate. Well, uh, in this slide, you may find three sections. Well, uh, in the left section, middle section, and in the right section. In the left section, you may find there are two inputs. One is S, another one is R, or you can say in this way, one is R and another one is S. And in the middle section, you may find there are two NOR gates. One is upper NOR gates, which is first NOR gate, and another one is lower NOR gate, which is uh, second NOR gate. And after these NOR gates, you, you will find two uh, two outputs actually uh, one is named as a present state which is symbolized by qn and another one is named as complement of present state which is symbolized by not qn and in the right section you may find uh, there are 
or you can say in the upper right section uh, you may find there is a there is a state which is named as next state which is uh, which is uh, why next because it, it is the state of uh, it is the it's the state of it, it's sorry i repeat it again it is the state of uh, sorry i repeat it again it is the state after present state that's why it's named as next state and which is symbolized by q n plus one and in the lower right section you may find the complement of the next state which is symbolized by q n plus one bar so let's move into the next slide from this slide uh, we can learn some uh, we can learn the uh, inputs and output declaration of SLH using NOR gate. So let's start. This circuit has two inputs. One is S and another one is R. And one input, uh, one uh, which is uh, QN plus one. Uh, but uh, QN and QN plus one are the symbol for the present state and the complement of the present state. Well actually this is the output but our required output should be q n plus one that's why i have written one output q n plus one well the upper nor gate which is uh, actually known uh, which is also known as first nor gate has two inputs one is r and the complement of the present state which is symbolized by q n bar and produces the next state q n plus one which is already described and explained in the previous slide I hope there is no problem to understand about this issue or in this issue okay so similarly the lower NOR gate which is also known as second NOR gate has two inputs one is s and present state uh, qn and produces complement of the next state qn plus one bar so let's move into the next slide well uh, since we have already known that SLS has two inputs. That's why we can assign two individual binary numbers. One is zero and another one is one. In that case, we may we will get four combinations. One is uh, such as zero 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 one one zero and one one. And in this slide, we may observe when the two inputs when both the two inputs are zero what we will get in the output section so let's explore it uh, when, uh, if you look at the uh, upper nor gate which is also known as first nor gate which has two input one is r and another one is the complement of present state which is symbolized by q and bar and uh, if you look at the next state uh, then you may find since uh, these latch are constructed by NOR gate, then then uh, we we can use the Boolean expression of the output of NOR gate, uh, which is uh, A or B bar. See uh, if the NOR if that NOR gate has two inputs, uh, one is symbolized by A and another one is symbolized by B. In that case, we uh, we find this type of uh, output expression. So we may find zero since uh, the value of r is zero zero or q n bar in that case we find q n uh, double bar and according to the boolean uh, algebra uh, if uh, if an element has two bar then it cancelled with uh, then it cancelled each other then we may with that then we find only that element so uh, this case we may fi we find on the qn well uh, if you look at the lower portion of the, the lower uh, lower uh, lower nor gate then you may find there are also uh, uh, two inputs one is s and another one is uh, present state which is symbolized by qn and the value of uh, s is equals to zero so uh, if you look at the uh, com uh, complement of the next state then you may find uh, there is a uh, equation uh, which is uh, q n plus one bar is equals to zero or q n to the power uh, uh, this quantity has whole bar 
and uh, we get on the q n bar okay okay so well, let's move into the next case which is s is equals to 0 and r is equals to 1 let's see what we will gonna find in the required output section so let's move into the next slide so from this slide uh, we are exploring uh, second case which is s is equals to 0 and r is equals to 1 so if you look at the first nor gate or upper nor gate then you may find there are two inputs one is uh, r and another one is not uh, q n or you can say the complement of the present state well uh, it, and if you look at the next state uh, you may find uh, a simple boolean equation which is 1 because the value of r is 1 or q n bar and whole bar in that case uh, we may find one bar and we also get zero well and if you look at the uh, lower nor gate then uh, you may find there are also two inputs one is zero and another one is qn or you can say the present state which is symbolized by qn and if you look at the complement of the next state, then you may find uh, 0 or qn whole bar, which gives us qn bar. And a question may arise in your mind, we get in the next state 0. And if we, if we, if we complement this next state, then we may find 1. But in this case, we may find qn bar and uh, if you uh, if, if you have confusion just assume that qn bar is equals to 1 i hope uh, there is no confusion after if you are if you have if you are following my words so let's move into the next uh, case which is s is equals to 1 and r is equals to 0 and we would like to explore that case what we will put, uh, what we will get in the required output section so let's move into the next slide Uh, in this uh, case we may find uh, the one of the inputs is one uh, which is s equals to one and another and the, and the other input is zero which is r is equals to zero so let's uh, let's see let's look at the first or you can say the upper nor gate then you may, uh, then you may find there are two inputs one is r and another one is uh, not q n which is the complement of the present state and we may find and if you look uh, you may find in the next state equation which is 0 or q n bar and whole bar and we get q n double bar and according to the boolean algebra if an element has double bar then it cancelled with each other then we get only that element which is q n and if you look at the if you guys look at the lower nor gate then you may find uh, there uh, this has also two inputs uh, one is s which which has which has uh, which has the value of one and another one is uh, the present state which is symbolized by qn and if you look at the complement of the next state then you may find then you may find uh, one or qn whole bar which gives us zero and in this case also you may sorry i repeat again in this case uh, a question may arise in your mind also uh, like the previous one uh, that uh, which is and uh, next we get the value of next state is qn uh, then uh, the complement of this next state should be qn bar but we get zero so in that case we may assume that the value of next state should be 1 which is qn is equals to 1 so let's move into the last case which is s is equals to 1 and r is equals to 1 so let's explore the last case of SNS using nor gate so let's move into the next slide well uh, from this slide uh, we may see uh, there are uh, last 
there are uh, two inputs uh, uh, or you can say the case 4 represents uh, when the both inputs are 1 one is 1 and another one is also 1 which is s, uh, s equals to 1 and r is equals to 1 in that case we may find uh, or we can uh, first we need to look at the upper NOR gate which is first NOR gate which is only which has uh, only two inputs one is r and the value of r is 1 and another input is not qn and after this if we look at the next state we may find one or not qn whole bar uh, in that case we may find zero well and <coughs> sorry and uh, if we look at the lower nor gate then uh, we may find there are also two inputs of this non gate one is s and another one is uh, present state which is symbolized by qn uh, the value of s is one and if you look at the complement of the of this next of the next state then you may find one or q n bar and which gives also zero but this is uh, this is not this is not expected so let's move into the next slide well the truth table or the state transition table of sr latch using nord gate is as follows and uh, if uh, we have already explored the four cases of the two inputs combination okay uh, uh, which is uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and what we have got or what you can call uh, for the output result so when the both inputs are 0 0 then we can call this state as no change well after that when one of the inputs is 0 and another one is 1 in that case we can call this state as reset state and when one of the input is 1 and another one in one, another one is 0 in that case we get we, we called or in, uh, this state known as set state and when uh, the when both the inputs are 1 1 in that case uh, we found the required output value is unusable that's why we can call it in this uh, uh, this state as indeterminate state and in this uh, truth table you may find a abbreviation which is p dot s dot and which is uh, stands for p stands for present and s stands for state which is which gives us present state so let's move into the next slide Well, uh, from this slide, we may learn uh, the basics or an overview of D latch. So let's start. There is one drawback of SR latch. That is the next state value cannot be predicted when both the inputs, which is S and R, are one. Yes, you can say that. So we can overcome this difficulty by D latch. D -latch. Well, it is also called as data latch so you can say d latch is equals to data latch okay the circuit diagram of data latch is shown in the following figure well figure 4 represent the logic circuit diagram of d latch and as usual you may find uh, this figure has three section one is left section uh, uh, another one is uh, middle section and another one is right section and in the left section you may find only two input one is d and another uh, one is a special type of input which is enabled which is named as enabled and also symbolized by e and in the middle section you may find there are four logic gates uh, two uh, two inputs and gate which is named as upper end gate and lower end gate or you can say the first end gate and second end gate and after these gates you may find two nor gate and you can say which which has also two inputs individually uh, and uh, you can say uh, the upper nor gate in the upper portion or you can say the first nor gate and in the lower portion lower middle portion you can say the second nor gate or lower net market and in the right section you may find two outputs which is which are symbolized by qt and the complement of qt which is the 
complement of the present state. So that's all uh, from the figure uh, or basic figure of basic or you can say the basic logic diagram of DLAT. So let's move into the next slide. Well, this circuit has single input D and two outputs. One is QT and the complement of QT. DLAT is obtained from HSR LAS latch by replacing an inverter between s and r inputs inverter means not get i hope you guys are remembered that that gate right so no problem about this issue so let's move so and connect d input to s that means we eliminate the combination of s and r of same value so let's move into the next slide well, if D is equal to 0, since uh, now uh, the D latch has only one input which is only D, so that's why we may assign only one number, either 0 or 1. So let's start. If D is equal to 0, what, uh, which means s is equals to 0 and r is equals to 1 in that case the next state uh, should be symbolized by qt plus 1 will be equals to 0 irrespective to or irrespective of present value present state q values this is corresponding to the second row of the sr state table sr latch state table okay and if uh, d is equals to 1 in that case we may find s is equals to 1 and r is equals to 0 then uh, next state qt plus 1 will be equals to 1 irrespective of the present state qt values this is corresponding to the third row of the state table of sr latch so let's move into the next slide well the following table shows that the transition table of D latch and we have already uh, explored uh, from the previous slide that when D is equals to 0 then we get in the next state 0 and when D is equals to 1 then we get in the next state is 1. Therefore D latch, D -latch hold the information information that is available on data input d that means the output of d latch is sensitive to the changes in the input d as long as the enable is high or activated so let's let's uh, start another type of latch which is jk latch so let's move into the next slide the both JK LAS as well as SR LAS is similar. This latch comprises two inputs namely J and K which are shown in the logic diagram in the next slide. In this type of latch the unclear state has been removed here. When the inputs of JK latch are high the output will be toggled. Remember these things. The only difference we can observe here is the output feedback toward inputs which is not present in the SR latch and uh, from this slide we may learn the logic circuit diagram of JK latch and as usual from the previous lecture uh, uh, that uh, this uh, figure has three section uh, one is left section another one is middle section and last one is right section and in the left section you may find two inputs one is j and another one is k and in the middle section you may find four logic gates two net two no two input nand gates and two input nor gates and uh, if you look at the uh, first if you look at the first NAND gate or you can say the upper NAND gate then you may find one of the input is J and if you look at the uh, lower NAND gate then you may find uh, the, in, the one of the input of the uh, one of the input of this NAND of this N, of this NAND gate uh, is K so let's move into the uh, NOR gate then you may find if you 
if you uh, if you guys look at the upper nor gate then you may find there is also two inputs one is symbolized by r and one is the output of the previous and gate and if you look at the uh, lower nor gate then you may find uh, which has also uh, two inputs one is s another one is the output of the and gate and in the right section you may find the outputs one is qn and another one is complement of qn so that's all uh, from the jk lash so let's move into the next slide or you can say the last type of latch which is t latch so let's move into the next slide the t latch can be formed whenever the jk lash inputs are shorted well the function of t latch will be like this when the input of the latch is high and then the output will be toggled and if you look at the figure 6 then you may find there are also three section uh, one is left section another one is uh, middle section and another one is right section and in the left section you may find there are uh, three actually four inputs uh, one is uh, j another one is k uh, which is actually shorted and uh, which is uh, which is uh, which is given by a clock first signal uh, after the shortened and another uh, is uh, t uh, another another two inputs are also shorted and which is also symbolized by t okay and in the middle section you may find there are uh, in the middle section you may find there are uh, four logic gates two three input and gates and uh, two two inputs nor gates and uh, in the right section you may find there are two outputs one is qn and another one is qn uh, and uh, the complement of qn so that's all from the t latch so let's move into the next slide which is which will uh, shows us some of the advantages of latch so let's start with the advantages of the latch so let's move into the next slide well there are several advantages of latches such as the designing of latches is very flexible when we compare with flip-flops the latches utilize less power the performance of latch in the design of the high speed circuit is quick because these are asynchronous within the design and there is no need of clock signal well the shape of the latch is very small and occupies less area if the operation of latch based circuit is not finished in a set time they borrow the necessary time from other to complete the operation let's last one latches give aggressive clocking when contrasted with flip-flops circuits uh, we start we have studied some of the advantages of latches but unfor uh, unfortunately uh, latches have some disadvantages also which is which will represent which is represented in the next slide so let's start with the disadvantages from the next slide so let's move into the next slide there are some disadvantages of latches such as they there will be a chance chance of affecting the race condition so these are less expected well when a latch is level sensitive then there is a chance chance of meta stability well analyzing the circuit is difficult due to property of level sensitive last one is the circuit can be tested by using an extra cad program uh, after completed advantages and disadvantages now we need to know what are the applications of latches so let's move into the next slide to learn some of the applications of latches well 
uh, there are several applications of latches such as generally latches are used to keep the conditions of the bits to encode binary numbers next latches are single bit storage elements which are widely used in computing as well as data storage next latches are used in the circuits like power gating and clock as well as storage device next d latches are applicable for asynchronous systems like input or output ports last one is data latches are used in synchronous two phase systems for reducing the transit count so that's all for the application about latches so let's move into the next slide well uh, in the next lecture you guys will learn about flip-flops so that's all for this lecture and thank you guys for your attention uh, see you guys in the next lecture till then thank you